dead yet. I ain't dead. <laughs> I know how to fight. Graham. Graham. Graham, why you keep it clean? Keep it clean because um, somebody want to eat it. Grab shit. I ain't no blue girl in town. Shit, ain't gonna ride me like a goddamn boy. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why? Just why? Why, why, what? Why? I ain't gonna let no man ride me. <laughs> no, why? Why? Why you tell us to keep our mouth closed if we smell your cat? I washed it today, but I didn't shower and do it real good like I do. Open uh -huh. it up and wash. Uh -huh. I ain't do all that. So you think somebody gonna eat that motherfucker? They eat it all the time. <laughs> They told me that I wash my shit too much. What nigga told me I oh, that don't taste like it. He said it's like for real. Shit. I found out the trick is let it be a little tight. <laughs> Graham. Shalom, shalom. Before I begin, I want to start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rug Kakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach in the course where I learned this truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's elect, the house of David. Finna get into a afternoon lesson, Lord willing. All right, it be edifying. All right, this is going to be a redo of a lesson I did a couple of days ago. Which they took down, um, they hit me with some copyright shit, so, you know, I had to take it down and, um, you know, redo some, some stuff on it, so, uh, this is that, so again, Lord willing be edifying, alright, um, I showed you the clips up to this point, so you can pretty much see who and what it's gonna be dealing with, alright, you know what I'm saying, um, 
opened up with the aged woman, all right, so-called big mama of the family, all right, and you see how she is, and, and, and that shows you a lot about how these women of today, why they are the way that they are, because the aged woman is how she is, all right, so, you know, it ain't no shock to see these younger women do the things they do and act the way that they act, all right, and that's also proof and to let you know who the Israelites are, because the scripture tell you about you know what I'm saying? The Israelite woman, how she's proud. She walks with straight forward necks. All right, um, she's wanton. All right, all of that, you know what I'm saying? And she's also contentious and angry. All right, I showed you a couple of clips in there, all right? You know, she's a she's not a good parent anymore, all right? Ultimately, the curses are showing the effects, all right? The, the curse that's on the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, which are the biblical Israelites, all right? You can see them in this clip, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll read this scripture we got on the screen, Proverbs 21 and 19. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and an angry woman. All right, you seen that last clip, all right, you know, these damn bitches then ran up on dude crib, all right, and they egged his car, all right, and on their way back to their car, all right, the one that got on the driver's side of big ass couldn't even get the door closed, all right, and they just burn off down the street, run a stop sign, all right, and get smacked by another car. All right, you know, that's what you get out here in this place, all right? A bunch of reckless, loose, abominable women, all right? And they come in all different shapes and sizes, all right, you know, and ages, all right? Again, at the beginning of the age, woman was talking about, you know, how she was letting, when she was in her heyday, all right, she was letting niggas sample her goodies and shit, you know what I'm saying, and getting the feedback from it, all right? And she's telling her, uh, her granddaughters about these things, all right? So, you know, you, you can expect what you can expect to come with that, all right? They're going to be just like Big Mama, all right? As the scriptures say in Ezekiel 16 and 44, everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, as is the mother, so is her daughter, all right? Then I showed you another clip, all right, with these uh these mothers at their at their um their children. I think it was like a pep rally or some shit, all right? Somebody was doing it in the, in the gym, all right? And you see what Eve is doing? All right, she's shaking her ass. All right, that's what they do. All right, the scripture tell you, walking and missing as they go, making a tinkling with their feet. All right, that's what Eve is known for. All right, the original rump shaker. All right, and that's what that's what they do today. All right, they're not discreet with it. All right, you know what I'm saying? They doing that shit out there for the world to see. All right, all the other students. All right, you know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna be looking at old girl, uh, or, or if it was, or if it was a. Uh, a Jake boy, all right, gonna be looking at him like, nigga, your mama had that ass moving, boy. All right, niggas gonna be saying all kind of lewd comments about your whole ass mother, all right? And, and, and the mindset of these women, they like shit like that, all right? You know what I'm saying, low key? All right, the daughter could come home and tell tell the mother how she embarrassed her and, and all of the guys and shit was talking about how she was dancing and shit. You know what I'm saying? The mother uh, will be proud about that shit, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what you get over here, a bunch of proud ass women, all right? Proud as reckless women. And, you know, we're living in that time where, you know, uh, it's a new thing in the earth. The Lord named, the Lord said a woman shall go past a man. So now you got these women at the head of these households. And look at how, they, how their offspring is turning out. Look at how their children are turning out. All right. They don't even really want to be parents like that. All right. Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long would thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter, for the Lord, Yahweh? By Shimei HaWashai had created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. All right, so these women are at the head of these households now. And look at how they raise their children up to be. All right, the one Eve, all right, she takes her daughter into the nail shop, all right, and her daughter just, you know, as she told the story, all right, just breaking shit, touching shit, all right, you know, and she can't control her. All right. She said, I don't want to take this little motherfucker out till she's 10. <laughs> you know what I mean? You tell that, shut the fuck up. All right, you know. That's what you get over here, all right? And if you got children, you know what I'm saying? It ain't so much of uh, what she said. All right, it's just she don't have no control. All right, you know. It's clear she don't have no control over her daughter and it's getting the best of her. All right. Then the other demon, she letting her... Uh, she letting her son, all right, just run around fucking with other people's shit, all right, in the bus stop, bus station, all right, you know. These women are, man, these women are through. These children are through. 
All right, the Lord coming back to destroy two out of three of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And that goes for men, women, and children, all right? It's Lamentations 4 and 3. Even the sea monster draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness. All right, and again, that's them curses. All right, hard and heavy on Jake ass, bro. All right, and Jake is the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American man. All right, through the sea of their father. We jump down right here to Deuteronomy 28 and, uh, what is it? 28 and 56. It's like the tender and delicate woman among you. This is the, this is the Israelite woman. This is what she used to be. All right, tender and delicate, which will not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, meaning the men of her nation, and toward her son, and toward her daughter. All right, eyes going to be evil because Eve is under, uh, she's under Satan's control right now, right? Going back to the garden when she made that deal with, with uh, the serpent. All right, verse 57, and toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet and toward her children, which she shall bear. All right, so you women, they, they, they're evil toward their children, all right? Let me see. Let me finish this out. For she shall eat them for the want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness, wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in thy gates. And that's going to happen again also, all right? times we coming into known as Jacob's Trouble, a time like never was since it was a nation, all right, when two out of three of you Negroes, Spanish, and Native Americans going to get judged viciously by Yahweh Shemai Washai through his sword, which is Esau Edom, all right, this is going to be going down, the Lord going to bring them famines, them punishments that he brought to ancient Egypt, all right, and you're going to eat your children, all right, you know, because you ain't going to have no food, all right, you've done it before, all right, you're going to do it again, there's no new thing under the sun, all right. The only people that's going to be eating real food and rejoicing in, a, in an upbeat spirit in these days coming into is the elect. All right, you two-thirds, you're going to vow. I mean, it's like you're going to howl for vexation of spirit. All right, the scriptures say. All right. So when you see the judgments coming on these people in that, in that day, all right, don't bat an eye. Don't feel bad for them. Remember who they are and what they were. And this time we in right now, they ain't seeking repentance. They ain't trying to get right. They ain't trying to return to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, they trying to stay even further gone in their madness. All right. So when the, when the Lord judge them, all right, it is what it is. All right, I'm going to read this. I quoted it. I'm going to read it. Ezekiel 9, starting at verse 4. And, he, and the Lord said unto him, talking to he, the Lord was talking to the angels. Go through the midst of the city, through the through the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem today is a, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, all right? The land of Jerusalem, our homeland, is being trotted down by the Gentiles, all right? We're not in that homeland. We got scattered from that homeland. All right, now, do you have some Israelites that's in that land right now? Yes, but us as a family and as a whole, no, we don't reside there. We're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, with the biggest majority of us dwelling right here in Babylon the Great, all right? So again, they say, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right, that mark is an exemption from judgment. All right? Basically, spare them. All right? They are the elect. They are on my team. All right? Then he said, uh, verse 5, And to the others, he said in mine hearing, So these are the death angels. All right? So you had the right-hand angels. Saving the elect, and now you got the deaf angels going to go kill the rest. All right. And to the others, he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. All right. So these death angels are going to go through the city and they're going to smite. And they ain't going to spare and they're not going to show no pity. Verse 6 it says, Slay utterly, old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin in my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient man which was before the house. All right. So. You know, this, this is when it's going to start, all right? Judgment starts with those who know the Israelites, all right? And all you Jakes should know you're at least the Israelites. Now, you might not know the truth of the truth, but you should know at least that you're an Israelite, all right? You ain't some African-American, all right? Two Edomites, all right? No, nigga, use a Jake, all right? A seed of Jacob, all right? 
but two out of three of you, a number to the sword, all right, and that number is uh it's unnumerable, all right, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be way more that die than that get saved, all right, and it's gonna be a lot of women and children that are part of that destruction, all right, and I showed you the clip so you can see why, all right. These are ultimately the reincarnated spirits back for judgment. All right, so this is just a morning quick hit. All right, again, um, it's a redo of a video I did a couple of days ago that was took down. I added a couple more clips in, you know, and um, you know, just wanted to feed the sheep, put up some edifying, Lord willing. All right, it was that. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it. I'm going to close it. All honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching the course where I learned this truth. Peace is how you taste to the elect. Boy, Master Robert. Shalom.